as things have come off so far there have been no big surprises that works then don't get me wrong i've had people come down here and they thought they've had a really good shell and it's broken our hearts to see the work they've got we're just going to end up with a hunk of metal and you know the whole project's going to go to pot really Thirty-five-year-old Nigel Eistead lives with his partner Nicky and two-year-old son Tom, and there's another member of his family, forty-year-old Dipsy, who lives in his shed at the bottom of the garden. Well, this is my Swiss chalet in the garden, um, built myself. This is my second home. I know what the pecking order is: fox having babies, stroke dogs, and then me. I'm under no illusions whatsoever. Once he's out there, I'll go down there for hours. I think he's probably got like engine oil running through him instead of blood. Well, here it is, the beast. This is my baby. This is a 65 Devon camper. I paid 650 quid for her about 12 years ago. Dipsy hasn't aged gracefully, but because the market's booming, even in the state she's in now, she's worth around six or seven grand. I've taken so much stick about it, I finally decided now is the time to do something about this van. May 2006 um, is our AGM weekend, and just to be able to turn up, you know, a van that just in no way resembles what they saw at the end of this year would just be fantastic. That means he's only got 150 days to complete this ambitious project. That one should just pull off. And that's supposed to be welded. So it's lethal, absolutely lethal. I've never seen one as bad as this. My opinion, it's scrap really, but. We'll just have to try and rebuild it. After almost three months of hard graft, including a week of prep and paint, it's time for Nigel's first look at Charlie's handiwork. Morning. You all right? Yeah, good. And you? Yeah, I'm not sure I want to turn around. Oh, God. oh that's just fantastic. Can I say, superb. 